I haven't tried this yet. It's hot. So welcome to Chips Outdoor Channel. Today I'm going to be making some homemade fries as well as frying up some fish fillets. Uh, to get started, I cut up some russet potatoes yesterday and for a period of 24 hours I let them soak in water to remove the starches from it. So I'll drain that water and we'll put it in the frying oil. But right now that's heating up. The next thing we'll do here is We'll put the fillets here in a straight flour mix, then dip it in eggs and milk. I think there's, there's four eggs here and about a quarter cup of milk. And then I've got a mix here of cornmeal, flour, black pepper, salt, Old Bay seasoning. And I'll put some of the other, I'll, I'll put the list of ingredients in the description box below if you want to check that out. So. The frying oil, our, our target temp there is 365, give or take. And uh, so in the meantime, we'll get these fillets prepared. And there's about 10 bass and one bluegill to give you an idea. So we'll get started on that. So here's a look at one of the bigger bass fillets. Now bass get a bad reputation as being not very good to eat. Um, but in my opinion, that's overstated. I think they're actually really good to eat. And when you fry them, you hardly notice the difference. I know some people get all bent out of shape for taking bass and out of a lake and they think, you know, you're gonna prevent a big one from growing, grow, pre prevent one from growing into a big one. But the truth of the matter is, uh, you know, you can't grow big ones unless you reduce some of that competition. So there's more food and there's uh, you know, more, more room for growth by reducing that competition. All right, so the fish are battered and the fries are ready to go on. So I'm gonna start out with the fries. I never trust these style of thermometers here. I always like to to use these. We're at 352. So we're ready to put these in. We don't want to load this up too much. Because it'll drop our temperatures a lot. Start out with this and see where we go. These have been going for about seven minutes and they're lightly brown. I'm going to remove these and then later on I'm going to do another uh, bath in the oil here. And I like my fries a little bit of crunchy, that golden brown and crunchy. So that's going to help us do that by dipping them twice. So I'm going to take these out and let them sit and rest for about two minutes. And then after that time I'm going to dunk, dunk them back in in the oil. And again that's just a Get them extra crispy, extra brown. Here's a look at them at this point in time. Look good, but it'll be even better here in a minute. Okay, so these have rested for a couple minutes. We're gonna put this back in. We're going to cook them for about two minutes. All 
right, so these have been going two minutes. I'm gonna pull these out. There's a look there. They look great. So we'll let those rest a minute and then we'll put some seasoning on it. All right, so these have been resting for a minute. Still pretty hot, but I like to put Lowry seasoning salt on them, but you can also do salt or pepper to your liking. Mm, those are really good. I wish we had smell a vision because these smell really good too. But uh, they are a little crunchy and a little past golden brown, which is the way I like them. If you don't like them golden brown, you can just do them at one time. So, uh, overall, these are real good, and I highly encourage you to try this. So the oil is at about 375, Put about half the fillets in here. So we'll let these cook. So two to three minutes and these are done. I had a couple stick together there. That's why some of the breading came off there. That's batter came off. So nice and crispy. This is a look here. We got a nice little crust on this. And she's already been in it if you can see it on her face, but I haven't tried this yet. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot, okay. I'll hold that. Mm. That's perfect. The right amount of crisp. The key is getting the oil temperature right, staying about 350 to 375. Don't touch. Um, that breading's great. I went a little bit on the mild side because I know that she's not going to like I bet she can't. Some, uh -huh, some real spicy um, batter. So I went a little bit mild. If you want, you can add a little bit more paprika or. Um, pepper or Old Bay or whatever you choose but I mean I, it's hard to complain with this and people that say that bass isn't good to eat they're lying to you it's really good so you know take a few try it try it and I know you'll like it so thank you for watching if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel hit that like button and drop a comment below let me know if you've tried this before if you like bass and um, if you're managing any of your ponds, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course tap that bell button for notifications of future videos. Thanks.